welcome to pathfinders when my mentor was teaching me the first lesson he taught me and i have never forgotten is that if you want to trade the stock market and if you want to invest in the stock market never forget the golden rule and the golden rule says buy people's fear and sell people's greed what does it mean it means that you always buy a oversold market and you always sell a overbought market and the good thing is that in this uh, market the price is continuously fluctuating between overbought and oversold you have to understand there is no real price here everything is inflated whether you are looking at book values or earnings per share whatever method you will look at buy what you will see is that this particular price will always either overstretch on the upward side or on the downward side that's why giving both buying opportunities and selling opportunities today i made most of my money from yes bank yes bank is where majority of my profits came from if i'm looking here this is uh, i booked a profit of 7495 here and you can see yes bank contributed a uh, 5400 out of it pc jeweler didn't work out i made losses and nifty also most of the money i made in the morning was by going long on nifty not short similarly here also i booked a profit of 4615 and you can see i could make money going long on uh, yes bank Uh, India Bull Housing Finance and PC Jewelers, which have fallen down, and which are now giving a buying opportunity. It doesn't mean that they have become good. No, no. What it means is that they are so much oversold that many, you know, the biggies they will perceive it as a buying opportunity, and just that urge to buy them because they have been oversold can take them up certain points. Look at Yes Bank. Yes Bank in the morning uh, opened way down. If you see here, this is where Yes Bank opened in the morning. The first candle itself was an inverted hammer, saying to you, yes, there is a buying opportunity. And then almost for the whole day, the stock was moving up, and uh, now around two hundred rupees is where it is finishing here. If I look at the daily chart, this is exactly what we see. on top what do we have on top we have the greed and on the bottom what do we have we have the fear and the price will always uh, overreact in a bullish market it will overreact on the upper side and uh, in a bearish market a bearish price will always uh, overreact on the downward side and this is what will give you opportunities into this market market about to close guys i created a short position here in this one but in the end the market has given a big rally and i booked a profit of 26000 rupees and here i am making a loss of 6000 rupees very important that you book your losses also when you are not right When the market is proving you wrong be humble and book your losses because if you don't uh, book your small losses they will end up becoming big losses and you don't want that so here i finished with 19830 rupees of uh, profits never forget to remove your stop losses okay never forget to remove the stop losses here and uh, this is how my day finished then booked a profit of uh, 19830 in this one 19830 plus here i booked a profit of uh, 7495 7495 plus 
in the stock side with profit of 4615. 4615. Total 31940. See here. 31940 is the revised final figure that I have, and I have not no trade going on. And you can see straighter long trades. Here I was in long trades. And in all of them, I was in short trades. So all this here, all 10 days, I was in short trades. And today, most of my money was made in the long trades because what I was doing is I was buying the fear of the market. So remember that you have to see what is the price doing has it become cheap has it become expensive is it overbought and whether it is oversold uh, overbought uh, uh, price will always have greed inbuilt into it and most people buy their greed as you saw that most people bought the market when it was at top right here and uh, Somewhere around this price, if I see, the market was very expensive. It was hugely overbought. The greed of the people was visible. Everybody was talking about how far it will go further up. And since the greed became too much, eventually, that's where it gave you an opportunity to go short. And since then, the price has been falling down, down, and down. And if you see here, this was the greed of the market. You sell the greed. And what is the market doing here? See, coming down, filling this gap, this gap. Today it filled this gap. And that's where it is jumping upon. Has the market improved? Will it go from here? Forget it. This is just a temporary retracement of a down move. We have one more gap on the downside, which is 10,772. And looking at the, you know, the way the market has moved today, the way it has jumped, I think I won't hesitate going back and shorting one nifty of mine. I normally do two, so I'll short one today and it, it, it gaps up. I'll have one more tomorrow. And even if there are four minutes left, make sure you have a stop loss in place. Where off? 11,100 is the stop loss that I put. And this is a swing trade that I'm carrying till tomorrow. It's a swing trade that I'm carrying till tomorrow. Another interesting stock uh, to look today where we made good money was India Bull Housing Finance. And uh, my traders were ecstatic today because we could catch almost 60% of this up move. And we could sell it right around this level. You can see that if I go and let's go to the India Bull Housing Finance. If I'm looking at India Bull Housing Finance, let's see that what we were doing. We were gradually buying it. You know, we were buying it uh, gradually. See here at 826, 836, 838. Okay. And where did we sell it? At 889 and 892 rupees here. We were trailing it. We were selling it. And that gave us very good profit. And uh, you know, we could make good money. What were we buying? We were buying the fear. And when it went 100 rupees up, what were we doing? We were booking profits by selling the greed. So one thing I have seen in 12 years of my trading career is that the market is never rational. The market is always irrational. And in this irrational market, you will have to find your opportunities. And you look at stocks that are overreacting. And uh, those stocks will give you opportunities of buying and opportunities of selling. For example, let's look at PC Jeweler fallen down more but more or less everything is factored into it they still have shops they still have business they still make profits 
So somewhere around this level, let's say 33 to 44 rupees level, it would be interesting to see if fresh buying comes here. And if fresh buying comes at this level, it might you know, push it up maybe from 40 rupees to 60 rupees. And that is good enough for you to make a 50% profit. So never forget the golden rule of trading, which says that if you want to make money into the market, learn how to buy people's fear and how to sell people's greed. And of course, this you can learn by multiple methods, by fundamental analysis, by technical analysis, by risk management, by understanding the psychology of the market, thinking like those big players. What will those big players be doing? So learn it. It's a learnable skill. One thing I know is stock market is for everybody. Anybody who is willing to learn and come here, this market is for them. So if you are serious about it, you want to learn. There are two links below in the content. One for a two-hour Hindi workshop, which is free. Another for a free English workshop. Go through it. It will prepare you for the basics of the stock market. And from there, if you want to go forward and become serious about it, build portfolios, create incomes out of it, do directional neutral trading, then uh, contact the number that is given below or go to the website. Thank you for attending one more uh, Pathfinder session. And I look forward to see you again in one more session. Thank you very much.